Oh. You, you know, I, I don't know what kind of weird sex art this is. So, see, what, what is this, Buck? Do you have any clue? I don't know, but I'm standing right in the pelvic region. That's right. We're fixing to talk to Mojo Nixon. You know, Mojo Nixon has been around for a long time. I listened to him on Dr. Demento, and he's been the inspiration of a lot of punk and uh, rockabilly bands, believe it or not. And go down to your local record store and ask for Mojo Nixon, and if they don't have Mojo Nixon, tell them their store could use some fixing. Little Dead Mc Milkman uh, reference there from Punk Rock Girl. We're going to go watch and talk to Mojo Nixon if we survive. Let's go.
Fox, Michael Bolton. Rush Limbaugh, Newt Gingrich, and that motherfucker that never did fuck Lisa Marie. Michael Jackson, the king of pop 12 year old boys, ain't no press. 12 year old boys, ain't no cherries. Michael Jackson, got no Elvis Hitters! Baby, just don't stop. Oh, baby, 
man with a white man boots. We the folks that walked on the moon. We got Muhammad Ali and Elvis Presley. Shit out of the first daughter of Chelsea Clinton. Tonight. Tonight, tonight, oh man, I'm gonna sing about me and Priscilla. Me and Priscilla. Ah, me and Priscilla went over to Lisa Marie's house so we could teach her a lesson. Because Priscilla told me that Lisa Marie was never fucked by Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson is a no-fuck motherfucker! Yeah. When Michael Jackson could have anybody he wanted on the planet, who did he want? He wanted Webster and a monkey. Oh. Mojo wants Lisa Marie. Priscilla. Priscilla got that Scientology mind meld on her. She gave it to me. I told her just to call my penis Elron. I said, here come Elron. I said, here come Elron. I said, I said, Lisa Marie, get your back roll here. Get your back roll here. Get your back here. is fucking in a forest fire up here.
Partridge, Wayne Newton, and Liberace. I don't want to hear you fools. You don't satisfy me, you see. Only Tom Jones and the Big E will set motherfucking mojo free. Come here, man. Wet Dog got something called a J-O-B. We can't say it, we don't know what it is, but we're sorry. I got an album for sale. I know some of y'all are going Mojo. I got a bunch of albums. You know, you might have a bunch. Unfortunately, there's a bunch more for you to buy. Over there by the cigarette machine, I mean right over there by that door, Woody has got some of them for sale. He's got some of them work shirts too that are fine additions to your oil-changing wardrobe. Come on, Mojo, play! That's fucking hot. I'm catching my breath, motherfucker. Yeah. You're, gonna get, you're gonna get your Mojo's money at work. I just turned 40. I'm fat fucked up in 40. I gotta pace myself. Yeah. When I was stuck in your mama in the ass, she told me to slow down. Yeah. 
to your leader. Take me to your leader. Take me to your leader now. Oh, Dallas Choir, help me. Space Aliens land! Space Aliens land on some trendy shit bag and develop. Yeah. And Space Alien gets out and says, Take me! Take me to your leader! What'd you say? Called Mayberry. Mayberry got sheriff, sheriff named Andy. And on a Friday night down in the jail in Mayberry, you can find our leader. On a Friday night down in the jail in Mayberry, you can find the leader got a fucking raggedy ass psychotic over the top battle royale. Give me a free beer, nation leader. Do you know who I'm talking about?
Well, my girl's so fine, want to suck her daddy's dick. If you saw her face, you wouldn't give me no lip. Oh. Shit, just to watch her come up. Oh. I need a woman six foot ten. She gotta be that big so I can get it all in. Go. Oh. 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 I woke up this morning, gay sticky finger. Last night I mucked up in a designated drinker. Go. My dick's harder than Jimmy Johnson's hair. And I fucked a midget at the county fair. Go! Y'all know Country Dick out there from the Bee Farmers? Yeah. Country Dick currently finds himself dead as a motherfucker. Yeah. Country Dick's in hell fucking the devil's wife in the ass right now. Yeah. I've written a song about Country Dick and it goes like this. Country Dick was a man big as Rio Grande. His voice did boom like thunder. But that evil rotten turd, Mr. Mike Curb, laid dick six feet under. Country dick played the drums like he was fucking nuns. Behind the wreck, sorry, he was pure rock and roll with chaos in his soul. He came to set us free. Country dick had three wives, he told them all face lies. With women, he sure was brave. <laughs> That evil rotten turd, Mr. Mike Curb, laid poor Dick in his grave. <laughs> Mushrooms right now! Yeah. Play poker till dawn! 
Play poker till dawn, D. Martin Records on, and all begin to howl. Oh, 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 Special place. Yeah. So, baby, I 
I want to rekindle our love. I want to go to the love canal. I want to visit the desire chasm. She looked at me with that certain kind of look I'm used to. She said, no. I said, maybe I'll take out the trash. She said, no. She said, maybe I'll vacuum the front room. She said, no. She said, maybe I'll buy a jewel album. She said, no. I said, maybe I'll sleep on the wet spot. She said, no. I said, honey bunny. I said, honey bunny, what I got to do to put my face back in a special place? She says, Mojo, you got to go to Kmart. You got to go to Kmart and buy me a big vibrator. A large vibrator. So Mojo, get your fucking raggedy, hairy ass down to Kmart and buy me something called of a man was somewhat simply required. I had a doohickey and a thingamajig left over. And something that looked like a pulley, but what? Said, baby, you better try that thing on the cat first. There she goes in the bedroom. Vibratorzilla. A case of Johnson's baby oil. The cat. And a Honda generator that put 220 on the money, honey. <laughs> now, many men would be upset by this. They'd be perturbed, they'd be disturbed. I wasn't, because I knew NASCAR was coming on the TV. I was happy as a runaway sling. I said, like, got it! It's going to be rednecks on my TV turning left for four hours. Go do what you got to do, baby. I'll see you in a little while. Now, funny thing happened while I was watching the show. Some of these tires would be squealing in NASCAR. I, could, I thought I could smell the burning rubber. Sometimes the engine would blow and I'd say, I swear I can smell the oil. I said, this Magnavox must have smart smell or some goddamn thing. My wife came out the fucking bedroom happy. She's so happy she did a jig. I said, Mojo, you can put your face anywhere you want to. But I'm sorry, I'm sorry to inform you, Mojo, that that certain time of the month has just begun. I was looking for a little bigger ooh there. I did all this build up. Mojo, that certain time of the month has just begun. I thought about how long it had been since I'd been to the Love Canal. How long it had been since I'd been to the Chasm of Desire. And I said, I won't go where no man has gone before. I don't care if I come home and ring around the face. I don't care if I come home Chief Redstick. Like Moses, I looked down and I parted the Red Sea. Like Jacques Cousteau, like motherfucking Jacques Cousteau, I looked at the bottom of the Red Sea and I saw the little man in the moon. I said, hey, little man in the moon. I said, little man in the moon, up periscope, baby! I was happy. Wife was happy, the cat was happy, Johnson and Johnson was happy. Said, Mojo, you can put your face in the special place anytime you want to, but you're gonna have to.
I turn my band to Toad Liquor. Yeah. Let's hear it for drinking. Yeah. Let's hear it for fucking. Yeah. Let's hear it for doing drugs in the parking lot. Yeah. Let's hear it for E-L-V-I-S Albert. Let's hear it for Mojo becoming mayor of this town and legalizing doing drugs in the parking lot. Let me introduce the man here. Maybe somebody can bring me some ice water or something. I'm hotter than two foxes fucking in a forest fire. Don't already say that? Well, wait a second. While you're at it, me and, me and Earl need two Budweiser's as well. Hey, somebody, somebody bring us some Budweiser. I got some tickets here. Who's going to go get them? Because I still got like a square inch of dry spot on me. Ladies and gentlemen, over here on the bass guitar from Seattle, Washington, an original member of Green River, Oral B. Freedom! <laughs> Back on the drums, ladies and gentlemen, the artist formerly known as Sober. The only member of the band wearing the nicotine patch at this time, and we can't say where he's wearing it. Mike Wade Middleton! My name's Mojo Nixon, I don't give a flying fuck about nothing, baby! No, oh, hang on, I'm gonna switch guitars and I'll be, I'll, I'm gonna be right back up on this thing in just a second. Just hang the fuck up. So there I am in 1977 playing Tom. And I hear that Elvis just died. I'm like eight. Come on here, buddy. That would be calm. Hold on, though. Forget it.
drink beer. I love you more than eating steer. I love you more than the pub crawl. God, it's not just food. Okay. When I do that big spring thing kind of stop thing there, I want y'all to scream not as much as football. Not just stand there and sweat and look at me. I love you more. I love you more. I love you more. I love you more than Dale Earnhardt. I love you more than like my farts. I love you more than a rope of gold. I love you more than drinking gin. I love you more than ESPN. Love you more than the pub crawl. I love you more than Foghorn Leghorn. I love you more than getting whipped with a shoehorn. I love you more than rope of gold. James Brown for the show. Can we go to the bread? Yeah. Should I take it to the bread? Yeah.
coming out to this fucked up 20 years of dead Elvis extravaganza. <laughs> This here's a little uh, Christian love song I wrote. Actually, I didn't write it. Me and Country Dick got so high one night we copied it down. It's called "Are You Drinking With Me, Jesus?"
You can't kill me, I will not die. Not now, not ever, no, never. I'm gonna live a long, long time. My soul raises on forever. Mojo. Mojo! 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 Mojo!
do aliens walk among us? We don't know it. They use our earthly representatives, Mormons from Utah. That's how. Mormons from Utah, come to your house, knock on your door, talk about the fucking angel Moroni, goddamn Joseph Smith and the seer stone and the tablets, and while you turn around to try to kick their ass out of your house, they put a little bug on the back of your neck. They're riding around on their little fucking bicycles like they're Greg Lamont, with their goddamn, with their goddamn great, with their skinny ties on like they can been to a fucking Blondie audition or something. They are undercover fucking with us. I got one more thing to tell you. What do Mormon temples look like? Disney fucking land! Conventional weapons, that would take years. But I'm sick and tired of aliens, Disney, McDonald's, and Mormons telling me what to do. Do you want to fight these motherfuckers? Yeah! Do you want to tear off their heads and shit down their necks? Yeah! Do you want to rip off their arms and beat them with the bloody hands? Yeah! I'm calling for armed insurrection! A revolution. I'm gonna fight it with song. The first song I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a new national anthem. That one we got nobody sings. The new national anthem is gonna be called You Can't Kill Me. It's to the tune of Amazing Grace. You inbred hillbilly West Texas motherfuckers know that song, don't you? If you don't know the words, just moan, hum, piss, scream, pee on yourself, touch yourself. Are you ready? Do it for me, do it for Elvis, do it for your goddamn self. Here we go. You can't kill me, I will not die. Not now, not ever, no, never. I'm gonna live a long, long time. My soul is on fire. Nobody else can. 
in a queue to Chicago to cut on his hand. Two bodies discovered too fast. His out of town alibi gone up in smoke. Now we find out he got a white beaten pass. Find out he got a white beaten pass. On the way home, oh, hang on. Quick play. Well, they brought him to trial. They put him on jail. Oh, they put. <laughs> Well, they brought him to jail, they put him in trial. A rent all hired million dollar attorneys. Told so many lies, I almost went blind. If he didn't do it, who did? Bobo! He didn't do it, who did? Well, a rent all had the motive and opportunity to. We planned it all and tried to escape. Go to suicide, nobody was a man enough. Speak the truth and seal his fate. Bobo! Speak the truth and seal his fate. Blood in the car, blood on his clothes. No, they never get by that night. Hey, he bought in some justice and smiled for the cameras and got away with killing his own white boy. Got The mama of his children, too. He's been in Hollywood so long he starts to believe the big lie. Don't let that happen to you.
Uh, we're here with Mojo Nixon on Underground Connection. Uh, an idol, if you will. A hillbilly idol, if a, you will. A, a billy idol. Yeah. A, a demigod. <laughs> Demi Moore ain't nothing but a one inject, one, one silicone injection away from being, being a boat. <laughs> I know you played with uh, Dred Zeppelin. Yes. Yeah, we, we've had them on the show a lot of the times. As a matter of fact, uh, they provided us with the theme song of the show, Underground Connection. Well, you know, Torch Elvis owes me $37.58 due to an unfortunate gambling accident he did. He had. He, he, he thought that he had a seven-card stud. He thought he had three pair, and that beat everything. Well, if he had three <laughs> pairs, he'd eat them. <laughs> he looks like a pair. We just played with him in Chicago at uh, House of really? Blues. Yeah, we're good. You ever play with Gore? No, we never played with Guar. I, uh, my buddy Ron, the guy that got me hooked up with Enigma and produced the first three records, he produces their records, Ron got in. They're from Virginia. I seen a couple of them, and they're kind of big, scary, hillbilly looking mother they're pretty, they're and, um, <laughs> they're pretty scary. But uh, I've never seen them play. We made a lot of their videos, and they're really scary. Uh, you're a little bit more toned down, but a lot funnier. You don't try to kill us. Well, I have been but known. Your fans are a little scarier. I'm not I've scared. been known to jump. Who my fans are, I don't know. It's a broad, broad cross section of what's wrong with America. I think, you know, it's, I think you know, it's a lot of people on lithium. You know, what it, 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 give me lithium or give me meth is usually what they're saying. And, you know, it's people that don't show up on the demographic surveys. These are people on the edges, the fringe, the nuts, the lunatics, the weirdos, the odd jobs. People like the people watching these shows. Yes. Okay, so, so like Elvis is, I guess, you know, he's everybody's idol, of course, but you sing about Elvis quite a bit. You don't necessarily imitate Elvis, uh. but... Well, what was the fascination with Elvis? Well, I mean, when I wrote the song 10 years ago, Elvis Everywhere, um, I didn't know the 10th anniversary was coming. I didn't know it was going to be on the cover of Newsweek and Time that right when the record came out. I was just feeling some vibration that Elvis was possibly becoming like some kind of weird American messiah. We don't have a king. You know, traditional religion has been, you know, uh, poo-pooed, so to speak. You know, or it's, it's not, you know, people aren't flocking to the churches to hear the same old well, job. Because, you know, there's a new religious theory out there that Howard Stern is, in fact, God. Howard Stern is a chicken who will not have Mojo on his show. He's afraid to have somebody smarter, funnier, more witty than himself. He's weak-willed and subservient is what he is. He serves the corporate whore dollar. He can kiss my hairy ass. But back to Elvis. The, um, <laughs> Howard Stern is mean is the problem with Howard. You yeah. know, he's funny, but he's mean. Mojo, but back to Elvis is that, uh, back to Elvis is, I just picked up on these Elvis vibrations that, that somehow these people were writing Elvis these books. Elvis had a vibrator? Yeah, yeah, these people were writing these books. It was like the, it was like the beginning of a religion. You know, you got all these books of the Bible, and then they're going to have the, you know, they're going to have the Council of, you know, the Council of Memphis in 2053. So are, are you a member of the Church of Elvis? No, I, I'm actually from the Church of Subgenius based right here in Dallas, Texas. That's right. You know, I am the, uh, oh. I'm the most high potentate of the Nevada Synod of the Screaming Church of the Epileptic Jesus. <laughs> I am. Brothers and sisters, friends of the revolution, here is the right Reverend Mojo Nixon. When you're sitting at home having a reflection, I want you to think that you should be watching the Underground Connection. It's the wildest, craziest, over-the-top road battle royale show in the city. It's so good, I want to lick its daddy's tallywhacker. Can you hear me speaking to you people? This is Mojo for Underground Connection. Man, Bravo, how does he do it, man? I am a whore to the camera. Well, when oh, you just grease me up, baby. When you see you, when, when, watching you play, I mean, how much of that stuff do you, just rattles off the top of your head when you're up there on stage? Well, the standard answer is a third of it I say every night. A third of it's kind of in rotation. You know, it might be, it might be every day for two weeks and then not show up again. For, but a third of it, the boy is making up. I mean, I'm extemporaneously pontificating. I'm a little quick on my feet. Now, bam, boom, pow. I mean, do you ever just stop and have to laugh oh, yeah. at the stuff you say? Because I do that all the time. Oh, and I'm I, doing you know, if I make myself laugh, usually it's so weird, you know, no one else is laughing, the band's laughing, you know. Yeah, it's, it's one of them way homers or, yeah. or self-joke. Yeah. You know. well, anyway, well, this is Mojo. Uh, you know, you need to go down to your local record store and ask for Mojo Nixon. And if they don't have Mojo Nixon, tell them their store could use some fixing. That's right. My new Mojo. album called Gadzooks. I mean, you got to buy it. I mean, there's, there's about 10 albums. You can buy them. You can steal them. This you can borrow Gadzooks them from right a friend. Here. You can download them off the Internet. I don't care. But just try to get hold of it, because once you get one or two, then you become like a you become a Mojanite. T -t -tell, tell us a little bit about Gadzooks. Here it is. Gadzooks is all all the crap. It's not on any one album, you know. And then we put like recorded like five more that we've been playing live for years that aren't on there. So this has got UFOs, big rigs, and barbecue. It's got the Poon Tango, part Poon Tang, part Tango. It's got Bring Me the Head of David Geffen. It's got Take Me to Your Leader. It's got. <laughs> Bunch of ones I wrote with a four country dick, uh, King of Sleeves, Beer Ain't Drinking. Well, the beef she, farmer's She's too. all, right, for, she's all liquored up. 
and uh, it's got it's got me doing this really embarrassing the second song I ever recorded back in 19 blah, 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 and um, it's it's called uh, I remember yeah it's called uh, what the hell is that one called <laughs> Death Row Blues. I, it's obvious after listening to it that I'd heard a few too many Velvet Underground records, you know, of my early influence. You've been playing on Dr. Demento for a long time. That's where I first heard you. I like the, the doctor's a good man. Dr. Demento show. Uh, is he still playing your stuff? Because we can't get I don't know. I, I never, his show never in San Diego. I see him every now and then somewhere. He calls me every now and then. You know, Mojo is not the most organized person on the planet. I, mean, I got good intentions, but the road to hell has been repaid by me. <laughs> well, from the words uh, of the Demi Moore God right here, you're watching Underground Connection. Unfortunately for you, you're still at home playing with yourselves. We're out of here. Me See and, Mo you later, me and Mojo are, are going to hit the topless bars. That camera sucks. I want to take it with me. <laughs> this guy, this guy, talking about 40 and everything. It's like we go to. You know, Pantera, they're locals, like, we'll go over to their house or we'll go to... They some concert. devil worshiper boys, ain't they? I don't know about devil worshiper. Well, I'm just saying, sound like they're worshiping yeah. yeah. This guy, he's like, what, what, do you, what do you know, 43 buck? 41. Yeah, after 40, you quit counting. It's, like, it's all 40, 50, 60, it's all the same. Uh, I'm going to start counting in 10. I'm going to bring you a class money bag up on stage. <laughs> I ain't afraid. Anyway, we had a lot of fun. Okay, thank you, man. It was, it was cool meeting you. Okay, man. man I, I've missed you every time you come through. I almost missed you tonight. And, and, and the whole rap about the chick, man. Man, you're right on with that. What, what chick? Uh? <laughs> Talking about uh, bringing your girlfriends out to the show. Oh, yeah. And to drag her. And to drag her. Usually you got to watch like some kind of Jodie Foster movie. It's, yeah. it's like, you know, I'll watch, I'll watch, fuck, what was that one where she couldn't speak in the woods? Yeah. Ironically, Whatever that one was ironically called. I had to make a deal now, with her. Yeah, usually the, the, deal, the deal is, okay, I'll watch Nell if you'll go see Mojo. It's something Basic, like basically that. Basically, the deal is I'm taking her to the movie, which will probably be Contact, which is Jodie Foster. Right, right, see? That's right. See, see? I told you Jodie's in there. Yeah. See, Jodie's all right for white girls. She ain't bad. <laughs> if you're into that trailer park girl, Walmart uh, kind of thing. All right, we're going to take okay, off. Okay, man, see you later. Ironically, we're going over to Melrose Larry Green's hotel from the Howard Stern Show. I'm not joking.